let's take a stacks and the topic we'll do today is deletion in a stack as an array right this operation is called popping from a stack okay now as i said <clears throat> the deletion from a stack or popping from a stack happens from the top right so if this is the top of the stack then this is going to be the first item that will be deleted right <clears throat> so here this is your top so the topmost item will get deleted and after that the variable top is decremented by 1 so when this topmost item gets deleted the value of top is decremented by 1 so that it starts pointing to this place right <clears throat> so when top is pointing to this place that means your stack starts from this place only i mean the top of the stack is here right this way from the top it will delete and if you want to delete the whole stack you will do it till the end and the value of top will keep on decrementing by minus 1 top is equal to top minus 1 till it reaches top is equal to minus 1 when it reaches minus 1 it means that the stack is empty right when top is equal to minus 1 no popping can be done because the stack does not contain anything at all right now <coughs> We'll do this deletion in a stack as an array, right? We have already seen how to push elements into a stack. Now we'll see how to do deletions. Now, the algorithm for this <coughs> if top or I would say rather the function pop will be written like this if top is equal to equal to minus 1 first of all you check what is the value of top if top is equal to equal to minus 1 in that case, you write <clears throat> print underflow. There is nothing in the stack, right? In the else part, we'll write print stack top that is we are just showing the element that is going to be deleted and then we say top is equal to top minus 1 right <coughs> sorry This is the algorithm. Here we have the stack. Supposing the item here is 45, right? And the value of stop will be this is 0, 1, 2, 
थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स सो एज पर दिस एल्गोरिज्म टॉप इज नॉट इक्वल टू माइनस वन सो इट कम्स टू द एल्स पार्ट प्रिंट स्टैक टॉप मीन्स प्रिंट स्टैक सिक्स राइट सो वॉट इज एट दिस पोजिशन हियर इट इज फोर्टी फाइव सो इट इज गोइंग टू प्रिंट फोर्टी फाइव हियर एंड देन वी हैव से टॉप इज इक्वल टू टॉप माइनस वन सो इट बिकम सिक्स माइनस वन दैट इज इक्वल टू फाइव राइट सो नाउ बेसिकली वेन द टॉप इज पॉइंटिंग टू दिस प्लेस इट मीन्स दैट द स्टैक इज ओनली अप टू दिस प्लेस वी हैव इन अ वे डिलीटेड द टॉप मोस्ट एलिमेंट नाउ फिजिकली इट इज नॉट डिलीटेड बट द लिंक इज गॉन राइट नाउ द सेम हैज टू बी इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन योर प्रोग्राम द prototype for this <clears throat> i'll not write the whole uh, program the prototype for this will be void uh, int pop right inside this you will pass the array and you will pass the value of top by reference right now in the main function <clears throat> the main function will be the same uh, the initial parts will be the same as we took for the push program right so here also we take a stack fine <clears throat> you can take the size for the stack here item top is equal to minus 1 and then uh, result right you can put a loop care ch is equal to y while choice is equal to equal to y the same thing that we did there now this part this while loop is for um pushing into the stack right so code for pushing into the stack once this is done you can display the stack so you can call the display function and inside the display function stack 1 and top will be passed right after this the deletion part see out deletion from the stack right here i take ch is equal to y again and y choice is equal to y or capital y or small y right <clears throat> now here we call this function pop and inside this i pass the array stack 1 and the value of top fine <coughs> now int top in stack 1 and int ampersand top the coding is simple only 3 4 lines here int result fine if the same algorithm that we had put there to be converted into a c++ code here if top is equal to equal to minus 1 then we say return minus 1 right if it is equal to minus 1 no pop popping can be done right it means it contains nothing in the else part you write <coughs> result is equal to stack 1 top right and top is equal to top minus 1 and finally you say return result what is result result contains the topmost element that is going to be deleted right popped out it is going to be popped out so result is equal to stack 1 top in our case 
uh, we took this stack so the topmost element is 45 so here result will contain the value 45 okay and top becomes equal to 5 6 minus 1 return result means 45 see result will be equal to 45 and top will now become equal to 6 minus 1 5 the size of the sorry the value of the top here we took as 6 okay hmm? so basically this thing is returned return result this is returned back to this place res right now we check if res is equal to equal to minus 1 then see out <clears throat> underflow that is popping not possible right okay and we can exit in the else part you can show the deleted element deleted element is that has come into res now right the result which you had returned from there that has come into this variable res fine so if i display res res is going to display what 45 right okay hmm? now after that you can display the stack again call the display function stack 1 comma top right so it will display the stack now the stack will start from the next element that is here supposing after this we have 56 after this I have 89 something like this 78 right 36 12 and then 7 right okay hmm. so when I display the stack it will start from 56 now in the after the deletion then the user can be asked whether he wants to delete more elements if the choice is yes then the loop will be continued right so here if you want you can put C out do you want to delete more elements right <coughs> and then C in this is CH right after this you can close the while loop and then the main function right so this is basically the pop operation when we do uh, top is equal to top minus 1 here you should remember that top is being passed by reference so the value of top is equal to 5 now the same 5 will be reflected back in the main function so next time if the user says he wants to delete more elements when it goes back to this while loop now the value of top here when you pass the value of top here for the second time the value of top will be 5 right it goes into the pop uh, I have written top here sorry this is not in top it is in pop so when it comes to this function the value of top is 5 again it is passed by reference from there and it becomes equal to 4 5 minus 1 4 the same 4 is passed back to this place if you don't pass it by reference then this thing will not happen okay so the value of top should always be passed by reference whether it is the push operation or the pop operation so this is how the pop operation is implemented in stacks and this is using an array right so with that i come to the end of this session bye